In this video we're going to introduce the Cartesian plane and first we're going to look at a grid system that is quite often used in subjects such as geography where you might have to find locations on a map. So looking at this particular map, let's say we wanted to describe the location of the X. What you do is you line it up with the horizontal and the vertical axis and you'll notice on the horizontal axis we have the letter B and on the vertical axis we have the number 4. So to describe this location we would say the treasure is at B4 or the location B4. You'll notice that when we write the coordinate down, we start with the horizontal part, the B, here, and then we write down the vertical part, the 4. It always goes in that order, horizontal, then vertical. We are now moving on to the Cartesian plane, which is the coordinate system that we use in mathematics. The reason we call it this is because a plane is basically a two-dimensional flat shape, which we have here. It's a little different, and let's point out some of the features of it. You'll notice they have an X here, which stands for the X axis. It is the name we give to the horizontal axis. You'll also notice another letter, the Y, which is the Y axis. And this is the name we give for the vertical axis. Sometimes we talk about more than one of these. So what you need to understand is we use the word axes with an E, which is the plural of axis. When you look at the coordinate system we're using here, they don't have letters and numbers, they have numbers and numbers, which can be a little confusing when you first use it. Let's say we wanted to pinpoint the location of the X again. What you'll notice is it probably lines up with the, I guess, let's say the 2 and the 4. The question is, how do I write this coordinate down? Do I go 2, 4 or do I go 4, 2? Now, when you write these grid systems down, you, you put a comma between the numbers. You also put brackets around them as well. So it's going to be one of these two. And if you remember from the previous map, I said we always do horizontal first horizontal first and vertical second. So we're going to go 2 first then 4. This is the correct one here and 4 comma 2 would be incorrect when describing the location of X. Quite often we say when we write coordinates we do it in the order X comma Y since X stands for the horizontal axis and the Y stands for the vertical axis. We also have what is called the origin. The origin is named the origin basically because the word origin kind of means the starting point where you start from. And the origin is located at the point 0, 0. Quite often when we look at a Cartesian plane, when it labels the origin, it doesn't have the number zero. So on this particular one, we see it's got the number zero here. Quite often, it'll have something that's a little different. It looks like an O that's leaning over, like an italics O. So when you look at your Cartesian planes, just have a look at where the origin is, and you should see this leaning over O somewhere. Anyway, that concludes our video on the Cartesian plane. 